So let's talk about some of the upgrades that were made on this home. Uh, there was $100,000 in exterior landscaping. That included all the pavers for the driveway, pavers in the backyard, irrigation, sprinklers, cost of the plants, cost of the labor. We didn't use mulch. There were rocks that were used, small pebbles. So $100,000 outside off the top. Windows were done. Um, floors were done, electrical upgrades, uh, new appliances, new kitchen, new bathrooms throughout, and um, ultimately all-in expenses came to a little over half a million dollars. Purchase price was one million seven hundred forty-five thousand, plus the half a million dollars or so in upgrades, puts me somewhere around between two point three and two point four million, right? in all in and the appraisal coming in at 2.7 the way it did i could still sell the house and make a little money but uh, that's not the play with interest rates being as high as six percent it doesn't make sense to you have to have a very good strategy when you're going to move in this market whatever decision you make you've got to be uh have be steps ahead because you don't want to sell in this market because you're getting less money today and then going out, you can still buy a deal. We had a phone call with Ringo, one of the top agents in Alameda, and he talked about trading is okay because you're buying low, I mean, you're selling low, lower prices today, and you're buying at lower prices today. However, interest rates being higher, your payment is gonna go up. So uh, imagine that. Imagine the payment on this home almost doubling just because of the interest rate. So the uh, strategic play, the divine way play on this one was to do a home equity line of credit, keep the 3% interest rate that is currently on this home and do not take any cash out of the home, but get a home equity line of credit that essentially is um, buying power and access to capital to go out and find other investment opportunities to make money. So that was the play. So for any of you out there that are looking to have your home appraised, there's a few things that you can do to be best prepared. Before the appraiser shows up to your house, you wanna do your own research to see what comparable sales have happened in your neighborhood. The closer to your home, the more valuable that, com that comp is. So stay in your, in, your, you know, in your zip code, in your block, in your neighborhood, and, and look at what's sold in the last three to six months. Uh, typically, an appraiser would, would um, I, I think, would accept an appraise, a sell that happened six months ago, but she didn't. She only went four months back. And I get it, the market is changing, it is evolving. So some of the things that you can do to prepare, again, are just doing research on the comparable sales in your neighborhood. You can reach out to real estate agents who have active listings in the neighborhood just to get a sense of what the market is doing. And you should also don't forget to like and subscribe. I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> Thank you, Ab. Good looking out, brother.